Mitomycin C has a definite role in some ophthalmic surgical procedures. Its main action is to stop cells from proliferating by cross-linking the DNA. Now it's also used in refractive surgery today, but it has also been used and is still used extensively in modulating wound healing in other ophthalmic surgical procedures. Its main role is to prevent extensive fibroblastic proliferation. In this video, I'm going to show you a simple technique in how to reconstitute mitomycin to be used in ophthalmic surgical procedures. Let's now move to understanding how it is reconstituted. As you can see, mitomycin is available in a vial containing 2 mg of mitomycin C powder. This 2 mg powder needs to be reconstituted with 10 ml of water for injection. That gives you 2 mg in 10 ml. If you were to work it out, this also works out to 0.2 mg in 1 ml. And this gives you the correct constitution of 0.02 this reconstituted mitomycin C down to 0.02% is optimal for ophthalmic use. Now in some surgeries, you may require a 0.04% of mitomycin C. Now should you need to prepare 0.04% of mitomycin C, here's how you prepare it. In this vial containing 2 mg of mitomycin C, you add 5 ml of water for injection. That is. 5 ml of water for injection in 2 mg of mitomycin C gives you a resultant solution of 0.04%. Let's now move to see how it is actually reconstituted. To start with, the vial containing mitomycin C is removed from its casing. The 10 ml syringe that is going to be used to reconstitute the powder is assembled by attaching the needle to it. Having done so, 10 ml of water for injection is now drawn out into the syringe. This 10 ml of water for injection is what is going to be injected into the ampule containing 2 mg of mitomycin C powder. The protective lid on the ampule is removed and now you will see 10 ml of the water for injection being injected into the ampule. All of this is done under aseptic conditions. Having completed the injection of the 10 ml of water for injection in this ampule of mitomycin C, it is thoroughly mixed and now the solution thus created is ready for use. In this part of the video, you can see the scrubbed up nurse drawing out the reconstituted 0.02% MMC solution to use for whichever surgical procedure it was reconstituted for. This brings us to the end of the video explaining the reconstitution of mitomycin C powder to produce the 0.02% mitomycin C solution. I hope you found it useful. Thank you.